Hey everyone, this is the Phoenix back to do another energy update for the sign of Libra. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Libra. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming to for you guys today. Alright, so there seems to be something that is being hidden from you. You're not seeing everything as it is supposed to be just yet. You feel very confused, a little bit anxious. You're annoyed at times because you can't see everything and you don't know exactly what is happening with you or with your situation. There has been some type of ending happening here with you and a person, but for some reason you haven't gotten the closure that you're looking for. Now this person will be coming back around to you soon. As regards to giving you closure, they may not even have closure for themselves, much less to give it to you. But I do see them wanting to come back in your direction. They are going to let you know that you hold the keys to their heart. And they're ready to open up their heart to you right now to have some type of relationship rekindled with you. There is a choice here that you're going to have to make between love and passion. You're going to have to decide if you let this person back in or not. But there is still a lot that they're hiding from you and they are still not to be trusted when it comes to love or relationship. They see abundance with you. That is the truth of the matter. They see that they can have a lot more with you than they can with other people. But it is still not going to cause them to stay faithful to you. They like the perks that comes with you, but not so much being faithful to you. For some of you, a child may be involved or this is a new beginning that you are wanting to happen or they are wanting to happen. Now, I think you need to look at this from the eyes of the child, if there is a child involved, or look at this in a more playful way. Would you actually accept a friend back that have hurt you, lied to you, deceived you, cheated on you? The choice will be yours to make. But at the end of the day, you need to look at things from a higher perspective. Ask someone for their opinion. Get a fresh pair of eyes. All right, so let's get into the tarot now and see what is coming through, what is really happening here. Spirit, what has come what needs to come true for my Libra collective? What is happening here for my Libra collective? Hmm. It's going to come down to choice. Choice between yourself and this person. They may know that they hold the keys to your heart, but it is not enough that you love them. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with for some of you. 
you may feel a connection to this person but it is not so much that they are your soulmate it is more of a karmic relationship you have been back and forth with this person a few times yeah you will have victory in the situation because this person is going to return to you but you are the one in the spotlight you are the one that hold the purses the strings you are the one to make the decision as to set boundaries in this relationship if you choose to take this person back because they hurt you deeply they betrayed you and although you're trying to get over that hurt and pain right now it's still right there underneath the surface that scar still pains you from time to time You want to open yourself up to the relationship. You want to open yourself up to this person. Because like I said, they may hold the keys to your heart. But are they the right fit for you? You see them as your everything. You see them as your happiness, your home, your family. You see this person as the pure love that you have to give but i feel on their end it's, it's not reciprocated they are the emotionally unavailable person they are the person that you can't get to their heart because it's guarded they are the one that uses your emotions for them against you You've been wanting healing and disconnection. You've been wanting this person to return to you. You've been wanting things to go back to the way it was before this person got involved with someone else. Because you've been guarded, but you also haven't given up on the relationship. They have you trapped in your head in a relationship where your heart is governing your decisions. They make you feel like you're not good enough, but for some reason you can't let them go fully. They rush into your life. They give you a lot of passion. They spend a temporary period of time in your life, but you stay stuck in that energy until they return. You see them as your husband, your wife, someone that is your partner. That is the way you see them, but is that really the way they actually are? Now, they may have money or they may have stability, but their mindset and the way they think about you, it's not right. <clears throat> You've been praying for a new beginning. You've been praying for a do-over with this person. You've been manifesting it for a lot of you. And they are coming back around to you. Let's see what is this person's true intentions for you. What is this person's true intention for Libra? Huh. They're coming back in from out of the cold. They're coming back in to tell you everything that you're wanting to hear. But you are the one left with the decisions. Are you going to turn a blind eye to all the things that this person has done to you? Because they still don't recognize your value and worth. They know that you love them, but besides that, they don't see what a great person you are. They know you make them happy. 
They know that you take care of their son or daughter. They know that you see a life with them. But they don't even give you the bare minimum when it comes to a relationship. It's time for you to come out of your head and see the truth and what it is. Because you're keeping yourself trapped, holding on and waiting for this person, manifesting them back for them to return to you. But there is not much fight left in you anymore. You keep fighting for this person, but this person never fights for you. This person comes and goes in your life as they well please. But there is going to be healing and restoration here between you and them. But this person hasn't changed the way they view you or the way they view the relationship with you. You may see them as your wish fulfillment as the star. They see you as a temporary wish fulfillment as the nine of cups. Hmm. They would act like you are their one true love. They will act like they want to heal the relationship with you and you are their wish fulfillment. But the truth is, their actions don't align with their words. You may be married to this person, or you might see them as your state, as your stability. But this relationship is still going to be a one sided affair where you give more to this person than they give to you. But you have been building your strength up and you feel like you've conquered your demons because this person have made you feel every time they go out and they cheat on you they lie to you or they manipulate you it's your fault they've been taking their time and coming back into you to give you enough time to sit down and stew in what they've told you concerning your last breakup Hmm. They've been strategizing because they know whatever truth they tell you, you're going to believe it. Because you can't really walk away from them. You might get angry and you might throw them out and you might say no, no more third party. But they know at the end of the day, you have a soft spot for them. So you never truly walk away. So why apologize? Why change their ways when you're going to accept them for just who they are? Let's see what is the outcome to this whole situation of this person that is returning. show me the outcome of the situation hmm. well the person that they left you for has left them so there is no more third party situation here that is why they are returning to you they do not see your value and worth and this is what I have been saying from before they do not see you as the kind, courteous person that is stable. 
They just want to manipulate and control you. They want to lie to you and have you wrapped around their finger again. And they know. They know that you want to have a new beginning when it comes to love with them. They know that you've been waiting on their return. They know you've been having a lot of sleepless nights, thinking about them, wondering when they're going to return. They know they have this power over you. Do they care to have a new beginning? No. Do they care to really be passionate about you and take you wholly and solely? No. But they know you are constantly in your head about them. They know they have a foot in the door whether they walk away or they play games. Because you continue to turn a blind eye to the things that you've gone through with them. Will they make you happy? No, they wouldn't. But you're going to hold on to something that you're familiar with. Because you're afraid to face yourself and move on from this toxic situation. You keep telling yourself that this is a soulmate relationship, that you two are meant to be together. I don't feel that. I feel like it's a karmic situation that every time this person comes back around, you refuse to learn the lesson that the divine is trying to teach you. It's time for you guys to move on. It's time for you to go to Karma Waters and meet someone that loves you for who you are and not what they want you to be. It's time for you to stop holding space for someone that sees you as just a game. It's time for you to stop. Because once you stop doing this to yourself, you're going to realize that there is someone out there for you. Someone that will love you. Someone that will put you first. Someone that you're not going to have to carry the whole relationship with. Someone that will reciprocate the way you love them. But at the end of the day, the choice will be yours to make. You have to decide what you want for your life. But this person may return, but they haven't changed. Let's see what love messages will come true for you. Only time will tell. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accepting each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So you could accept that this person will continue to cheat on you, lie to you and manipulate you. That is the honest way this person could truly want to stick around and be with you. Life is a series of constant shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.